Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, this video is going to be the second in my Why I Own It series of videos. And today I'm talking about this 2005 release of the original Star Wars trilogy, episodes four, five, and six. Now, this is the only version of these Star Wars movies that I actually own. I don't own the Blu-rays, I don't own the 4Ks, I don't own digital versions of them, I don't watch them on Disney+. Plus. I watch this DVD set of the original three movies. And the reason I do that is because this set came with not only the 2005 version of the films, which are, you know, special editions that have updated or altered scenes and effects and all that sort of stuff in them. But each one of these also comes with a bonus disc that includes as close to the original theatrical release of the first three films as you're going to find on DVD or Blu-ray or 4K or anything like that. And if I slide these out on here, you can find these on eBay uh, secondhand through, you know, Facebook, eBay, wherever. You might find them in the slip case like this, or you may find them like this in their individual form. Or occasionally, if I open this up, this is just the episode four, you know, New Hope, you may just find the bonus disc by itself being sold out there. And these range in price from being somewhat cheap because people don't realize that it has the bonus disc with the unaltered, quote unquote, uh, Star Wars films on them. Uh, so they're cheaper because they're DVD. So people value, you know, the Blu-rays or 4Ks more because they think it's better because it's the newest technology. Uh, and other sellers price these way higher because they know it's got the bonus disc on there and that this is a limited release that's, you know, you can't find anywhere any more new. Um, and so they upcharge it. And really, it kind of falls in the middle there, I think, in the actual value of these. But I bought my set, uh, I don't know, five, six years ago for under $20 or under $15 from Facebook Marketplace. So you can definitely find them out there at a reasonable price for any Star Wars fan. But anyways, yeah, so that is the reason why I own the specific versions of Star Wars is because it has the original unaltered, like I said, as close as you can get uh, because the original movie especially was altered slightly for home release. But as close to the original uh, content that you're going to find for these films. Now, the picture has its issues because you could clearly tell that when they release these, they only threw those bonus discs on there as just a add-on for the fans, but they didn't really care. So it's in a non-anamorphic 16.9, like 4 by 3 picture, and the audio is only a standard two-channel Dolby Digital. It doesn't have surround or anything. And I'm fairly certain all that was ported from one of the earlier Star Wars Laserdisc releases. Um, they just didn't port over the audio, uh, which is still, you know, a big source of, uh, you know, discussion and stuff online about finding the best audio from different Laserdisc releases for these films. And other channels go into way more detail than than I can go into on any of that. But in terms of a more modern release uh, that you can buy, I re highly recommend these. And like I said, I only watch the bonus disc version of these. I, I don't watch the standard special edition versions of these really anymore. And while the picture could be better, you know, in terms of modern technology, um, things get altered because George Lucas is notorious for it. So. If you want the most uh, theatrically accurate picture on a modern disc that you can find, definitely go out and try and find these three versions, or like I said, the box set online, because you can get it for a reasonable price. So with that, that is why I own this version of the Star Wars trilogy in my collection. And like I always do, I want to say thanks to everyone who's watched my videos, who's left a comment, liked and subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.